Welcome back. The exchange of rocket fire continues three weeks after the deadly attacks on Israel and the kidnapping of hundreds of hostages. Humanitarian aid group Samaritan's Purse is on the ground supporting churches and Christian partners impacted by the attacks and offering Israel's government emergency field hospitals and medical aid. Joining me right now is Samaritan's Purse president and CEO Franklin Graham. Mr. Graham, thanks very much for being here this weekend. Thank you. Assess the situation for us as you see it. You've got people on the ground, of course, responding to great, great need. Uh, there's a huge amount of need, uh, Maria, uh, on both sides here. It's, it's incredible. Uh, in Israel, you have about a half a million displaced people right now. Uh, they're living in uh, hotels and other places, uh, makeshift uh, accommodations. Uh, th these families, uh, they certainly need help. And of course, in Gaza, you have close to one and a half million people uh, that have displaced and Israel told them to move from the north and uh, relocate to the south, which uh, many of them have done. And uh, these people need food, uh, they need uh, water, and they need medicine. And I would encourage Israel uh, to allow uh, their border to open up and give us a steady stream of uh, food, water, and medicine to, yes. to these people, this one and a half million people and more that, that are, are in danger. This, this is what Hamas did. It was horrific. And I support Israel. And I believe Hamas should be defeated. Uh, but you've got these innocent people that are suffering that did not vote for Hamas. And we need to find a way to uh, at least uh, see that uh, we feed, they're fed and water is given. And medicine right. is given. Uh, that's that's all I'm saying. But uh, they need to continue no, I, I understand. Uh, to it, defeat it, Hamas. Is there is there any guarantee that once uh, that aid gets to uh, the Gaza Strip, is there any guarantee that Hamas is not going to take it away from the people? No, no there's there's not a guarantee for anything. Uh, but I think right. you allow the water and the food uh, to come in, and uh, it's going to get to the people. Uh, Hamas may pilfer and take some for themselves, but it's still it's going to get it's going to benefit the people. It needs to be a steady stream of, of uh, food, uh, water, and medicine going to the hospitals. That's all I'm saying. But Israel's got a, a fight on their hands, and, and it's not just militarily, but it's for the yeah. hearts of uh, of the. Uh, what I would say, the world press, which has been yes. very favorable to Israel, but it's going to turn. And we see the rise of anti-Semitism in this country. I want to talk to you about that because this week, students and faculty at Liberty University in Virginia held an emotional Stand with Israel prayer vigil. Watch this. We stand with our Jewish brothers and sisters, and we break as they are broken. And we stand in the gap and we pray. Sir, contrast that with what we saw take place at other college campuses across the country this week, pro-Palestinian, anti-Israeli protests from students as well as faculty, one group even trapping and taunting Jewish students in a library in New York City. Your reaction? Well, uh, we are, we're living in a very dangerous time, Maria, and, we, and I think everybody needs to keep their vigilance and keep their guard up. And the Bible says that there's a blessing for those that bless Israel. And I think the United States has been blessed over the, over the years because we have stood with Israel. But that could turn, Maria, that, that could turn so quickly. And that's why it's so important that Israel allowed the food, water, and medicine into Israel uh, to try mm. to keep that public support uh, on their side. Yeah, I think the Israeli leadership has tried to warn civilians. They've dropped leaflets to say, look, we're going in. We want you to yeah. get out of the way. I don't know the answer because it feels like the terrorists are stopping any aid anyway. And the terrorists are saying, no, stay where you are well, during the invasion. They, 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 have, they have blocked a number of the people, no question about that. But you still yeah. have one and a half million people that are down on the Egyptian border. That are that are sitting there outside, and they need they need attention. And so I support Israel, and uh, Israel has every right to defend itself and defeat these terrorists. But yeah. you still have uh, a one and a half million people that need food, water, and medicine. Incredible! Thank you so much for making the point, sir. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Franklin.